Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 28. One of my earlier shows, I did a review of the amateur radio or ham radio apps on the iPhone and the iTouch. Uh, I have an iTouch, and I have a lot of those apps on the iTouch, and for a long time I used them all a lot. The one drawback is that any of the apps for the iTouch, since it was not a phone, that required internet access, you know, where it had to go up and get something from the internet. For instance, the uh, scanner radios. The scanner radios, of course, were using the website to stream down um, the particular uh, band or station you wanted to listen to. On, the, on your scanner, on your iTouch or your iPhone. If you had an iPhone, that wasn't a problem because you had a phone connection and you could carry the, the phone anywhere you wanted to go and you still could stream that information. But since I have an iTouch, which does not have phone capability, the only time I could use it is when I was connected via Wi-Fi. So that was a shortcoming. Well, I have since... Um, corrected that problem, shall we say, in that um, over the holidays, I stepped into the new age and got myself a newer phone. I got, I didn't get an iPhone. I got a um, Evo from Sprint. The reason I did that is because my daughter has a family plan, so I just got her family plan that saved me a lot of money by just getting added on to her family plan. So anyway, the first thing I did is start looking for similar apps for ham radio operators and amateur radio operators for Android, since this is an Android phone. So today, I wanted to go over a couple of those and show you some of the interesting ones that I really like. Um, and there is a lot of them out there, again, pretty much equivalent, although some not quite as good yet as the ones for the iPhone. So let's go to one of the web pages I use to get my applications for my Android phone. Okay, this web page is, and this is for the Android phone, remember, uh, is called uh, appbrain.com. And it's like the uh, Google Apps Android store, except it has a lot more information, it's easier to use, it it just does a better job right now. I really like it. So anyway, I've done a search on HAM, H-A-M, and this, uh, this is one of the results it came up with. Um, this is one that I do have loaded on my Evo phone, and it what it does, it provides you with um, solar conditions. I'll just click on this. this. These are two screens that it gives you on all of these apps. It gives you two screens to give you an idea of what it's going to look like on your phone. So here is the solar information that it provides. I'm hoping you can see this clearly. But you can always go to App Brain and uh, do a search on him and you'll see these. And the other thing it provides is a uh, lookup, a call sign lookup uh, via the website qrz.com. So that's the two things, nice features that this provides. Now let me go back. Okay, these are all the ones that it found when I did said said do a search for him, and there's three pages of these. And the ones that are Mark installed are the ones that I actually have installed on my phone. Oh, yes, my phone. And it keeps track of it. There's the next one here is, um, I'm not going to go over all these, so don't have enough time, is uh, Ham Radio Study. Uh, helps you study for your technician general extra class license. And it provides you uh, test from the actual question pool that 
um, is set up for those tests. So that's a nice one. And we skip down here a little bit. Um, here's another one. Now here's one that's the uh, Morse code trainer. If you're interested in uh, learning how to do Morse code, it's a nice little trainer. And then we'll go back to the list. Here's one I have. This is one of my other hobbies, sub-hobbies of amateur radio is uh, satellite tracking and satellite communications. So this is a, um, a satellite tracker. Um, has a couple of screens here. Here's a, a screen that uh, shows you a graph of the pass of a particular satellite, this being AO51. So it's in a prediction, and this is a pass. It's interesting, the date on this example was January 18th. Hmm. So he's keeping it up to speed. And then here's a map that shows you the track of, uh, the predicted track of a predicted satellite that you picked. So I like this one. Use this one quite a bit. So let's go back to the list. Okay, that's all I use on this page. Let's go to the next page. Okay, here's one that's QTH locator. Um, let's go select that one, take a look at that. I don't have that one. It says it calculates and displays your current QTH location on a Google map. So uh, apparently it uses the um, uh, GPS built into the phone and then determines where you're located and then calculates what's the QTH locator and then shows it on a, uh, a map, a Google map. That's kind of nice. Okay. Let's look at the DX cluster. Now this one I'm thinking about getting, this one's a paid. So far I haven't bought any, so, all, so far all the ones I have are free. Uh, this is a paid one, um, but I think it might be uh, interesting enough to get it. This is um, this tracks um, DX uh, reports, uh, real time, and you can set up alarms so that if a particular station comes online, uh, it can set, set an alarm and let you know he's online, and then you can try to work him. So uh, this one, let's see how much this is. Two forty nine, not bad at all. I may actually. Uh, Take out a few pennies and buy this one. Um, there's a couple of things on Echo Link. Here's Echo Link Finder, uh, IRLP Finder. There's another QTH locator. Let's go to the next page. Here's Ham Beacons. I have this one, as you see, it says installed. This gives you the uh, status of the beacons of. Um, when they'll be broadcasting and where they're located, which can be used to uh, get an idea of your reception or specifically HF propagation. So I've been using that one. That was a, that's a very good. It's a freebie. You notice, you know, I get all the freebies first. Here's another uh, HF beacon. I just installed this one, so I haven't played with it much. But it does look free. It's got a nice map, and uh, it highlights the particular beacon that's transmitting at that given time. So that looks interesting. Let's go down here. Okay, that's the three pages under Ham Radio. Now let's try a search under Amateur, if I can spell it, Radio. And so we got three pages before. Now we still have three pages, but here's a different one. Amateur Radio Call Sign Database. I have that installed. That lets you put in a call sign, and then it will look in the database uh, and give you information about that call sign. Very useful if you're on the radio and you hear somebody's call sign. 
you can uh, quickly look it up using this uh, application. Especially if you're mobile. That's good if you're mobile because you can do that if you're home. You can do that with your computer. But what's nice about this, you can do it when you're mobile. You ever listen to your mobile radio. Okay, here's another one I have. Is Here's the first uh, scanner radio. Again, it's like the one on um, my iTouch. Not quite as good. There's one on the iTouch that I really like because it lets you program 16 stations and it will scan four at a time. That's really nice. Most of the other ones on the iPhone iTouch and on the Android like this one only let you choose one station. But the beauty of it is you can now take this with you. So you have a scanner radio now on your phone. Okay, let's see. Here's, your, here's the Echo Link. You can actually, actually use this program to get on Echo Link. I have this installed. I tried it once just to um, use the test. Echo Link test site, and it worked fine. So uh, it's be kind of fun if you uh, get somewhere and you're bored. You can get it on Echo Link if you don't have a uh, mobile radio with you. Uh, we talked about that one. Heavens Above is similar to the Hamset Droid. And it attracts satellites. Um, amazing that this is free because uh, typically uh, Heavens Above stuff is, uh, I don't, although I don't know if it's from the original author of Heavens Above. I would assume it was since they're using that name. But this does an excellent job of tracking satellites. Um, predictions, it does predictions, of course. Just, and here's the track. It shows you which way you're facing. That's really handy. So you can make sure you're facing towards where the sand lot is supposed to come up. And let's see what else. Skip down here. I don't have time to go through all these, like I said. Might even see some new ones that I haven't seen before. Okay, that's, uh, that's about it. Um, of course, I'm running out of time. So that's my uh, quick review of um, applications for hams and amateur radio operators to put on your Android phone. That's it for today. Bye-bye.